So let's say you're like me, 700k coins, definitely a solid team, a team that can compete online, but you're trying to figure out what to do with these damn coins. I know a good amount of people is going to run straight to the damn store. So looking through these packs and wait, hold on, hold on, wait, let me get that real quick. EA hates me. Back to what I was saying. And go through these packs and see what they can gamble their coins on. Today, I want to talk to you about the best and only packs I think you should open with coins. And I just want to make this clear so nobody gets upset in the comment section. This is 100% my opinion. You guys always ask how I have so much coins. You guys always ask how I always have a good team. So with that, throughout this series, I'll be releasing a strand of videos where I will go over what I've been doing, my methods on how I built my team, how I built my coins, and what I do with them. So if you do care about my opinion and you're in the same boat and you're in this store, the first thing I I want you to do is, is exit just back out because personally i do not advise you buying any packs i would love to just end the ted talk right there but i'm not going to do that because i know somebody i clicked on there i want to see what packs you should open so i'm going to do that but i'm so serious though i would not open packs just go buy players the recruit bundle is actually a pack slash bundle whatever you want to call that i actually would advise you opening it's only 15k there's nine cards and you get a choice of one of two 69 plus overall common players definitely down the line this is going to be the type of bundle that i will roll the dice on because i've seen a whole bunch of people on twitter a whole bunch of my friends in my party pulling a lot of crazy stuff from this rare players coin quick sells legends like ltds all of that and since you're only spending 15k and i know i'm saying only because like i got a good amount of coin i don't know what your situation is but if you do end up walking away from this bundle with nothing like it doesn't really hurt like it's 15k bro like you can get that back quick so recruit bundle gets a thumbs up for me definitely an advocate for training offers and rerolls and stuff like that but this is a video about what packs to spend on your coins the only other packs that i personally would advise opening are these like promo specific packs legends packs ultimate alumni packs and then like in case you missed it somewhere over here what the hell is that oh it's down here now i don't know if this theory is set in stone but this is just something that i feel like i've noticed i specifically open these packs whenever they get like a new drop like literally as soon as a uh, promo drops and releases that's when i would open the pack so since all three of these promos are already out and like every new drop is just like addition to what has been there already pretty much i would pull these packs as soon as the new players go live and honestly my theory behind it is just the fact that ea needs to get these new high overall players onto the market so i feel like during those early periods they tweak the odds just to get them out on the market out on the auction block oh i forgot about conference stories too and i feel like i decided to come up with this hypothesis just based off of all of my friends pulling stuff as soon as the damn promos drop and following their patterns of what they pull and the times that they pull them it's usually right Right after the promo drops and they open these types of packs so yeah that's my honest opinion on what you should do in terms of buying packs if you're gonna spend coins on packs season ultimate team guys might already have their methods on how they open packs and by all means if that's what works for you bro do what you gotta do but i really want to just give my opinion to the people that are just starting and are looking at these packs for the first time and don't really know what to do hopefully i help somebody watching this video but we got a whole lot more action coming in this video i gotta take these boys online and put belt to ass but before we do i want to thank you guys for the support on these videos y'all been going crazy bro the views been going crazy we've been going up on the channel and i've been loving it i highly appreciate the love and if you could continue dropping the love i will continue putting out these longer videos i've been having fun doing them and the game's been so fun and all i ask is you just drop a like drop a comment if you're new to the channel hit that sub button why say ain't nobody greater we carry the crater big bag of potatoes i pop a potato come down to this paper i'm toting the clock gotta be like a lady just look at the offense i haven't made any changes since last episode but they just dropped the reveals for the ultimate alumni for today but i got my eyes on some of those players in there but that's only if my coins will allow it and here's a look at my defense and the same goes with them and i Actually, I want to give you a quick tip that just came to mind because I was talking about that. At the time of you watching this video, Ultimate Alumni 2 will be out. And as you can see, the prices for the Ultimate Alumni 1 players have dropped. Even the prices for players at other promos, like for example, Mika Fitzpatrick was going for like 700k. But as you learn to market, you'll see that people sell good players just out of excitement for newer players. Another example is Durham was just going for like 600, 700k. So it may suck a little that you won't be able to get your favorite player as soon as they're released. Because in my instance for Minka, he was going for like 700k and that would be all my coins. But literally, just wait for another promo to drop and i promise you the player that you want is going to shoot down and how much he shoots down is going to be determined by how good he actually is and how good the comparable players in like comparable positions are but to wrap up the final tip of this episode if you're a no money spent guy don't just spend your money as soon as a player comes out because that's when they're going to be at their highest it's just not worth it but to prove that my budget beats and my bnd legends are elite anyway and can compete online we're gonna keep it going in champs and i definitely didn't forget about touchdown tango we're sitting at 200 wins bro 50 wins away and we don't ever have to touch this again my sanity has been going completely out the window playing this but be on the lookout for a video where i'm gonna drop the fastest way on how i got this Corey thomas once i get him of course oh a sneak peek i kind of just changed my name to first touchdown wins to encourage people to quit after i score it hasn't been as effective as i thought it would be but i mean it's worth a try all right it's only game four for me of champs so they shouldn't be lethal yet they shouldn't be lethal yet let's hit jake johnson in the flat right now nice i want to see if we can race him to that here oh yeah everybody coming into the box what is nick singleton doing oh my why did he just sell me again i will not allow ea to get the best of me bro i just won't let it happen bro fourth and six we're gonna throw it to newton he's gonna break a tackle get the first 
Ooh, if this is man coverage, I love Newton. Yeah, I love Newton. On out there on Caleb Downs. Yeah, we'll take that. Back in this condensed look. Let's see if we can hit up Jawan again. Oh yeah, we got the leverage. He's right on the edge. Come on, you're not catching him. Jawan Newton to the crib to start this one off. Oh, fuck. All that hard work for nothing. Gotta stay composed, bro. It's not going exactly how we would like it so far, but it's all good, bro. We're gonna get on the edge with KJ Jefferson. Are we getting a good block from Travis Hunter? Yeah, I think it was. Option out left. Option out left. Finally, Nick Singleton keeps a good pitch relationship, and we're off to the races. Get down the sideline. I don't know where Juwan Newton's been, but he's been out for like five plays. So we, we gotta run this with... Okay, this, this is just not gonna work here. Let's just take off. Let's just take off. He didn't get open like Juwan does. Okay, uh, let's just hope he gets at it. Nope, let's just hit Jawan, bro. Let's not even risk it because that shit gonna get picked off and I'm gonna be sick. Good spin move, good juke move. Get in the end zone, Jawan. I don't know how many times I gotta tell you. He's the truth. All right, boom, bubble. Oh, he didn't take the bubble. Ollie Gordon. All right, he's running something similar. Oh, I oh, I shot it. I was literally gonna pick that off. Three plays in a row. Same play. Same ha handoff to Ollie Gordon. And okay, all right, now he's getting good yards. Oh, it's Jet Touch Pass now. Yeah, I should, I should expect this type of play from him. Yeah, like this, this, come on, bro. Forgot I was playing champs. Running this again is twisted. Yo, this dude is fucking twisted, bro. He's fucking twisted. I'm gonna run commit just because, yup, I knew exactly what it was. <laughs> Are you serious? All right, bet. Again, I took a wrong angle. I took a wrong angle, bro. What am I doing? All right, passway, finally. Something different, finally. Go get him. He just took off and ran. He just, he just, he just took off and ran the ball. And there's the jet touch pass. Honestly, just let him score, bro. It's all good, though, because even still, if we score, we'll have that one up. So we don't technically have to stop him. So that's the good point. All right, boom. Jake Johnson. I'm going to throw it. I'm going to throw it. I'm going to throw it. Jake Johnson to the apartment. That's what you get for being fucking lame, bro. Touchdown. I didn't expect him to still run this, even though, like, the time on the clock. But I got to look at, like, I mean, if he can get yards like this, why wouldn't he? All right, pass play. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. He has the wheel or whatever the hell that is. Guy literally has me losing brain cells. Looks like we're finally going to get him to open his damn playbook. All right, corner there. And that has to be a pick, right? Thank you, Taishin Johnson. Can we get a good return? Maybe get in the field goal range if we have time. Oh, wait, maybe. No, probably not. That's all it took. Why do you play the game? I'm talking to you. It's Reebok on Xbox. He's ID in the mic. We noticed his stretch. Come on. All right, he cut it up the middle early. Gonna make sure Pat White has a spy every single play. Every single play. And he's gonna lob up a pick to me. Shabar James, thank you for the pick. Come on, let's go home real quick. Let's go home, pick up, yeah, just get Pat White. That's all I really needed. And <laughs> we're gonna walk all the way into the end zone. Oh, it looks like he's about to line up a beater. I, I, I can see it, I, I literally can see it. Oh, oh, we kept, TJ. Drop picks have been insane, bro. Drop picks have been absolutely insane. We're gonna cover this up. You wouldn't dare throw that, right, would you? He, oh, okay, he weaved in, he fumbled, we stripped it. Get the football, get the football, thank you. And it looks like he's been watching some TikTok because he's running this little double A gap. Uh, we're not gonna let that fly, bro, I'm sorry. <laughs> we're not, we're, bro, I've been playing this game for too long, bro, we ain't letting that fly. What the heck? What is he, what? I just paused for him too and he didn't want to quit. So I think this is a professional time waster. I'll be back after this game. Bruh. Oh, he wants to, oh, he's so fucking lame. Do you see what I'm going through right now? This dude really made me sit here and chew the entire football game, bro. Like, he didn't touch the ball all half, but he still decided to hang in here the whole game. I, I don't understand why. And he's going down. There's got to be a sick joke or something. And with 27 seconds left, he pauses. Doesn't quit. He pauses, and we're, we're just sitting here. Oh my god, that was, bro, that was so painful. That was, that was, I just wasted a whole bunch of time I can't get back. First two games of the day and just two complete losers. I don't even know if I want to play another game, but I have been promising these longer episodes, so let's just pray we don't get another fucking idiot. All right, man, new game, finally, new scenery. I was, I was tired of looking at the dude's field, looking at, it, it, it was stressing me the fuck out, bro. It, it really was. I'm going to take off KJ Jefferson. I seen from his top three, he must have a pretty decent team, so let's just see what he's about. We're gonna drop back. We got Jawan Newton. We got Jawan Newton. Huge throw. I don't know why after a huge pickup on passing, like I always go to this play. Like it's just like muscle memory. We're gonna pitch it out to Nick Singleton and we got a good tight end block down the field. Another first down. Third and 16, man. And y'all know the red zone is just, it's just no joke, bro. It's, it's, it's no joke for real. We're gonna have to dial up a dot here. Oh, I got Jawan Newton. I got Jawan Newton. Catch it, get down, beautiful. So you got Will Howard, he has Gurley. Oh, he's running the double pass. Uh, It looks like my guys are, no. Yes, yes, 
Yes, we are on it. Yes, we are. We're gonna pick it off, bro. Don't run that cheese shit against me, bro. It's not gonna work. I'm surprised we didn't get a sack, though. Honestly, I feel like he was back there for mad long. This looks a lot like man coverage. And it is. And it is. And we got Jake Johnson on a touchdown. Yeah, you're not keeping up with him. I don't know who that is, but you're not catching him. Maybe he wasn't two o'clock. Maybe he just took that long to pick his play. All right, he's gonna run the ball up the middle. I am gonna Ooh, I was about to kill time early. All right, bad option. He pitched it. Oh, good play, bro. Yeah, I mean, okay, bro. All right. Hey, buddy, if you haven't realized, you're, you're kind of down 14 points. You, you need to start throwing the football a little bit downfield, sir. All right, boom. I got the corner. Somebody go get him. Don't even allow that. Perfect. Sit your ass down. I haven't been able to tell because I haven't been paying attention, but I don't know if he's been chewing the clock or not. Like, how do you catch that? Oh, uh, another run play. Another run play. Boom. Hey, no. I just want to get him off the field right now. He's running a screen. You wouldn't. Ah, fuck, I jumped. I jumped. Why did I jump? He wouldn't still throw that, right? Would he strip it? He gets a first from that. I have my contains up. I know he's about to roll out this way. I know he's about to. Oh, he didn't roll out. He didn't roll out. Let's get off the field, bro. Let's get off the field. I know he's thinking something short. Yes, he is. Oh, we nearly picked that off. Fourth and three. He doesn't deserve to be on this football field. I accidentally did a no-no. Definitely did a no-no. And uh, he got the first cut of it. They let you switch stick with the D-pad. That's so dumb to me. Like, why would anybody ever, like, think to do that? It, wh where are you guys going? Can we? No, he beats me to the corner. Bro, the weakest college football 25 players are stressing me the fuck out. All right, I'm cooked. Big run commit right up the middle, actually. Yep. Boom! Okay, okay, all right. And after all that, he's going to kick a field goal. Well, I got my answer to the chewing clock question. He's not chewing clock. He's just genuinely taking him that long. And yeah, I, I saw that all the way. And he still, he still gets a first down. By all means, bro, take your time. Do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. Send a spy. Strip that ball, please. All right, boom. What we got here? All right, just running straight out. Just, just straight out. You wouldn't throw that, would you? I, that wasn't even who he was throwing to. Let me relax, man. It could be worse. I could be playing an absolute demon. So, I mean, I guess uh, I'll take, I'll accept this. We do need to get this dude off the field, though. He's been on the field the entire football game. No, it's not option. All right, boom. Oh, it's a screenplay. I, I didn't see that. I, I genuinely did not see that. All right, run up the middle. I wasn't ready for it. I, I actually... Oh, wait. Oh, he still pushed forward. Hey, man, I don't think I could be too mad at him, man. He's, he's going up the field at the pace he wants to go. He's playing this kind of football, bro. He's playing the type of football he wants to play. Can't be mad at that. My biggest question right now, if we get this stop right here, is he is he going to take three again? Or, like, what, what, where's, where are you going? Yo, somebody, send another spot. Where, where, where are you? Will, bro, is actually twisted. He ran a fake field goal. He ran a fake field goal, bro. There's, there's no way in hell he just did that. There's also no way in hell we just dropped two picks. I'm not going to full on and just chew like last game, but I will have two clock on for the rest of the game. I'm still going to try to like move down the field though. Let's see what we got here. Boom. Oh, we got Newton. Sir Isaac Newton on the edge. The refs think otherwise though. So now we have a third and 10 because he couldn't keep his feet in bounds. It's all good though because we've got Jake Johnson. We'll do the same thing. Get a first down. Juke in. That was the slowest juke I've ever seen in my life. Under two minutes, we're just going to run this read option. Not the read option, the pitch. Cut in on him. Yeah, sir. I'm sorry. You, you, you're just not equipped to deal with this. I ain't gonna lie to that. That was a very difficult video to make. But I do this for y'all. So all I ask is you to drop a like, drop a comment. And if you're new to the channel, hit that sub button. Till next time, AC. Help.